everyone. My name is Imana Ahmed. Today we are going to present the National Map Day Assembly. Let us begin our day with a prayer. I call upon Fatima Mahesh. Dear God, Thank you for your provision for this day and for all that we have learned. Continue to guide us during the rest of the day. Show us the good that surround us and protect us from all dangers that we may give you thanks. Pledged, India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I am proud of it, its rich and very heritage. I shall always try to be worthy of it. I shall always give my parents, teachers and all elders respect and treat everyone with courtesy. To my country and my people, I pledge my devotion. In their will be and prosperity alone lies my happiness. Jai Hind. Thank you. Thank you, Haya. Next, I call upon Ahiyan bin Arshad to enlighten us with the thought for the day. Hi, I am Ahiyan. Grade 1B. Thought for the day is without mathematics, nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. This is a quote from Shagundala Devi. She is known as human computer. And you are here for the wonderful thought. Next, we, we will have a talk about National Map Day by Fatima Hiba, Grade 3B. A warm welcome to the Honorable Principals, dear loving teachers and my dear friends. Greetings to all. I am Fatima Hiba Rehan, studying in Grade 3 from Aura Global School. In this occasion of celebrating National Mathematics Day, I would like to say a few words about the great mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan. National Mathematics Day is celebrated in honor of Srinivasa Ramanujan. He was a remarkable mathematician of India. His contributions to the field of mathematics were impressive. Thus, to commemorate his birth anniversary, Indians celebrate National Mathematics Day on 22nd December. At the very young age, Srinivasa Ramanujan showed the signs of an unfolding genius and his contributions regarding fractions, infinite series, number theory, mathematical analysis, etc. Set an example in mathematics. The former Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh, declared that 22nd December is to be celebrated as the National Mathematics Day. Thus, on 22nd December 2012, National Mathematics Day is celebrated in our country for the first time. Happy Mathematics Day! Thank you all and have a nice day. For the beautiful talk. Next, I call upon Rahul Fazal to surprise us with some facts about numbers. My warm greetings on National Mathematics Day. I, I am Rahil Fardad from Grade 1 B. I am here to talk about big numbers adopted from Star Talk by Neil deGrasse Tyson. 
explains big numbers. We know that a one with three zeros it is a thousand. A one with four zeros it is it is a ten thousand. What do you call a one with six zeros? A million. If we add three more zeros, we get a billion. There are billions of stars in our galaxies. Then what comes next? A trillion. A one with Twelve zeros. What now? What is next? It is a quadrillion. A one with fifteen zeros. Then what's next? Quintillion. There are grains of sand in an average beat. Then what comes next? Sextillion, the estimated number of stars in our universe. Wow, it's so cool. It doesn't stop here. A one with hundred zeros, it is a Google. G O O G O L. What do you call a one with Google zeros? A Google Plex. Wow, that's a big number. That's all about big numbers. Hope you got the rhythm. Thank you. Thank you, Rahul, for the interesting fact. Next, we will have a puzzle by Nanda Kishore and Prithvi. Hello everyone, my name is Nand Kishore Jayan. I am from Great Vita. Today I am going to show you my maths puzzle. I am going to show you my maths puzzle with the help of my brother Prithvi who is from Great Aikachi Vita. Hi! Okay, Prithvi. You can see so many triangles, right? Yeah. You should remove two matchsticks yeah. to make eight triangles. Yeah. Can you do this? No. Then I can show you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See? Yeah. Now the second one. You can see four matchsticks, right? Yeah. You, you can only remove move one matchstick yeah. to make a square. Can yeah. you do this? Um, no. Then I can do it. See? A square. Yeah. Now the last one. Yeah. Uh, that's a very big tri a triangle. And if you move Three matchsticks, you can make three triangles. Can you do this? Um, no. Then I can. One, two, three. See? Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for seeing. I hope you like it. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Nanda Kishore and Prithvi, for the engaging puzzle. Next, we will have a skit about math in real life. Bye, Nafisa, Na Nashar, Naji. Busy? Ah, oh, Naji, you come back? Yeah. Where did you go? I go to the shop to buy some fruits. Didi, I have a doubt. My math teacher told that there are 
math in every daily life. But I don't think it's true. But I think it's true. It would be great if you explain so. Come with me. Well, let's start from where you came from. Come. Did you see this tire? Yeah. What shape is it? It's circle. Circle is a shape and shape is man. If not circle, you may have to walk to here. Najib, what is this? Oh, that's are some fruit that I bought from the nearby shop. Didn't you pay when you bought this? Yeah. You paid money. And money is maths. How could money be maths? Because money is profit and loss. When you give money, it's loss for you. But when you get money, it's profit for you. So, it's a big maths. Another daily maths in daily life. Didi. Tell me more about. Okay, bring two glasses, one filled with water. Okay. Can you tell an appropriate word to measure the difference of this water? Uh, that I don't know how to explain it in words. Liters. You can explain them in liters. And liters is maths. Another maths in daily life. Didi, please continue. I will. Okay. Can you check the temperature outside? 25 degree Celsius. And degree is maths. Wow. In weather there is also maths. Yes. Yeah. Math is very useful in our everyday life. Here is some list of things we do in our everyday life in maths. Managing money, balancing the checkbook, shopping for the best price, preparing food, figuring out distance, time and cost for travel, understanding sports, being a player and team statics, playing music, baking, home decorating, sewing, gardening, and landscaping. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Nafisa, Nashad, and Naji. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good morning. I am Ashta. Today, we, the students of Group 4, are here to make the calculation of finding square numbers in ending in 5. I invite my friends for the explanation. Okay, now let's try this with an example and I'm taking 35 here and let's try is this working or not. So 35, this is our number and we have to find the square of this. Square of 35 means 35 into 35. Okay, uh, so in this trick, uh, all numbers will having uh, the last number 5. Okay, so... The square of 5 is 25. Thus, the last num last two digits of the square number ending with 5 will be 25. And we need to find only this number. That, we have to multiply 3 and this 3 plus 1. Okay, so it will be 3 into 4. That is 12. And now we have found the answer. It's 1, 1, I mean 1, 2, 2, 5. Uh, so the square of 35 is 1225. Two digits. So 5 into 5. That is 25. So we get the last two digits as 25. And to find the first two digits, we should multiply 8 with the number which is coming after 8. So, 8 into 9, which is 72. So, the answer is 72. So, 
so this is how we can find the square of number 85 easily now we have three digit number example 105 now it's 105 and it's square likely we said the last digit will be the square of 5 and which is 25 and the first few digit will be the 10 into 11 which is 110 you can use this trick in three digit number also now i hope you all have understood the symbol trick and would make you calculate symbol and thank you now let us Yeah, yeah, yeah.